Hello, this is the CubeSat final presentation for Team Ad Astra. My name is April. My name is Ben. My name is Eugene. And uh, my name is Terry. Natural disasters and other severe environmental factors, such as hurricanes and tornadoes, can contribute to mass power outages, but it's often very difficult to identify and address these issues quickly, which delays the aid delivery process to those in need. Our mission is to build a CubeSat that detects these power, power outages over a designated spot on Earth for future applications. And this is a video demonstration of our CubeSat prototype operations. All right, so this is our ground state operations where we send code to the CubeSat and we receive an out output from the CubeSat. And first we start by sending a start command to the CubeSat, which will start taking pictures as it moves like every around four seconds. And every time the CubeSat takes a picture, it will return the amount of pixels that were lit up in each quadrant using RGB values and calculate whether each quadrant has experienced a blackout. And after it calculates that, it'll return an array of Booleans, whether true, false, true, false, and show us whether each quadrant had a blackout or not. So this is our mission demonstration. We use string lights to represent city lights on Earth and a black cloth to simulate complete power outages. For the flight path motion, we use tripod rails to move the cube set with stability. So this is our results from um, the lot testing in the final demo. And it recorded data at three points during its travel from one point to the end. Photo number one detected a quadrant, detected quadrant numbers one, three, and four as having a blackout. Photo number two, however, detected the opposite, detecting quadrant number three as a blackout with the rest having light. And lastly, photo number three and four, uh, sorry, photo number three had all four quadrants experiencing a blackout. Uh, one source of error is when you're taking each photo, we have to input our GitHub username and password to save the picture to GitHub. And this makes the distance between each photo unreliable and undeterminable. Um, some changes that we would like to make in regards to our prototype are the angles of the cable, the acrylic casing, and the battery and solar panels. First, the uh, cables should have a 90 degree bend so that it fits into the structure better. Second, the acrylic casing should be more thick in order for the model to be more secure. Lastly, the battery should be able to retain more energy and the solar panel should be able to capture more energy in order to support the power needs. Overall, planning out the build to down to the last screw was very crucial in ensuring that the CubeSat will be equipped with all the essential functions. Creating a diagram or a 3D model was very helpful in mapping out where every piece should go. In the testing phase, there were many trials and errors. However, however, our team was able to cooperate very well and try out various ideas, no matter how absurd or difficult it may sound. By performing many tests, we were able to see whether an idea was truly feasible or not. We found that keeping an open mind and giving everyone a chance to share an idea was very helpful in making progress during the prototype testing. For future CubeSat missions, the designing and communicating portion of the project should be truly developed before moving on to the actual building. By putting the design on paper and including different perspectives from our team members, a stable and successful CubeSat can be made. Thank you for listening to our presentation. <laughs>